Hello, it's Wednesday, uh, April the 21st, and uh, trust you are well. We were in Chapter 7 on Monday and Tuesday, and uh, Chapter 7 was about the unbelief of the royal house uh, of David, uh, namely King Ahaz uh, in Jerusalem, uh, against the threat of Syria uh, and and Israel in particular, and, and Ahaz uh, is hitting the panic button and going to the tyrant king of Assyria, Til Tiglath Pileser. Now in chapter 8, the question now arises, what's going to happen to the remnant? Uh, if God comes in judgment, as we shall see, what happens to the remnant of God's uh, people? Uh, and, and God tells Isaiah to get a large tablet uh, and witnesses and to uh, write on it a name, Maher Shalal Hashbaz. It's an extraordinary name, Maher Shalal Hashbaz. And it translates... Uh, rush to plunder, speed to spoil. It's a prophecy. It's a prophecy about Assyria, and they will rush to plunder and speed to spoil. And uh, uh, Isaiah uh, and the missus, uh, she is pregnant and gives birth to a son, and uh, this poor lad uh, inherits this name, Maher Shalal Hashbaz. Uh, it's a bit of a mouthful even uh, in Hebrew. And uh, before the child can speak, uh, the king of Assyria will have robbed uh, the spoils of Damascus uh, and Samaria uh, in the north and the uh, syro Ephraimite um, alliance is done and uh, dusted. That's good news for uh, Ahaz. But as is so often the case, good news for one person can sometimes turn into bad news for others. And in verses 5 through 8 of chapter 8, uh, the people of Judah are ecstatic, but they are aping um, the unbelief of Ahaz. Uh, the trouble from Syria and Israel may now be gone, and the Assyrians have dealt them a mighty blow. But they need to th remember that Tiglath Pileser now will have eyes on Judah and on uh, Jerusalem. Uh, instead of looking to, and he uses a, a, a river imagery, and instead of looking to the Shiloh River, which comes into the west, uh, of Jerusalem, uh, and uh, they look instead to the mighty uh, Euphrates uh, River, the great river that runs through the kingdom of Assyria. And Judah uh, is going to be choked to within an inch of its life. They are committing the same uh, unfaithful act as Ahaz had done a year or so uh, previously. And uh, uh, he speaks uh, in verse 8 uh, as though um, uh, as though Emmanuel uh, was already there. And he says, um, it'll sweep on into Judah, it'll overflow and pass on, reaching even to the neck, and its outspread wings will fill the breadth of your land O Emmanuel, and uh, he's speaking as though uh, Emmanuel is there watching Judah uh, being choked right up to its neck uh, in the mighty Euphrates uh, metaphor for uh, Assyria that's coming their way. Uh, Be broken, you peoples, Isaiah says. Um, pride. Pride comes before a fall, and here it is uh, in the tragedy that now befalls uh, Judah. Well, there's a little more uh, uh, of God's prophecy to Judah uh, in the second half of chapter 8, and we'll look at that tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.